Please confirm me on if you guys can see my screen. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, guys, so listen to me very carefully. So yesterday we have started with overview page. We have created a we have created a CDS view. We have given the selection fields and we have created the project in Web ID as well. We have exposed to the service as well. So today we are going to start with the table card. Okay. So this is one of the most important thing. We are going to start with table card. First of all, for every new card in OVP, a separate CDS is required. That's what we do. Okay. For every new card in OVP, a separate CDS is required. This is the first thing. In table card, in table card, a new CDS file is created using division field using division field as base parameter what is that i'll explain you okay guys so as per my understanding and as per my knowledge we cannot have more than three columns in a table card but still you can explore and come back to me on monday OVP okay so uh, the next thing guys what we have to understand is in table card in table card we would be using something that can help us to identify the business values in a different way say for example if you talk about division we in division we have various things like we have we have a lot of things in division, right? So we would be using a group by, we would be having a total so that we can find the data as a summary. It should not look like a table that we have in ALP and list but it should look like a final summary that this table card, that this table card has, say for example, in division, suppose each and everything is repeating. So combining all unique values, having their totals at one place, Having something colorful that makes the most sense. Otherwise, there is no use of using table card as well. Okay, so considering all those things, we would be using it. <clears throat> one of the most important thing, one of the most important thing, what we have to take care of is, firstly, now uh, just to just to save some time, I have already created one CDS file. I have also registered that as a service, so that we should not do the same steps again and again. And we should focus on the new things that we have to do here. Uh, Nobody is going to start anything. First, let me complete one part. Then we will do some changes in that part. Then you guys can totally create from scratch. Okay. That is uh, very important. So we will be using division as our, uh, this is the key and we will be having division description. We will be also using order quantity total value. And we will be using credit limit as well. Credit limit is also one property we can use it. Credit limit, open quantity, total value, anything you can use. Once we design this complete structure, then you would have a better understanding how table card is different from the table that appears in your in your uh, ALP and your list report. Okay, so that will give you a better understanding. So this is obviously this. These three are my line items. Position would start with 10. And there are a couple of other things that we have to give here. What are those things? I'll tell you. Just hang in for a minute. Okay. And there is a concept of data point also that we are going to understand. First, let me just add the line items. We would add additional properties there.
Okay, so this is done. Now additionally what I have to give is, so guys, uh, specifically I will not guarantee but I want you guys to experiment. Now if you want a label for your column, if you want a label for your column in your way, so you use end user text equals dot label and then you give your label. As well as you can also give label here. So if I want I can give label here and I can give name of my choice. So I will give as division description. One by one I will keep adding all the parameters that are required. So first I will add division description. I will give a comma label. And here I'll give order quantity total value or value anything of your choice. And here also I'll give a credit limit or oh sorry label. Credit limit. This is one way you can additionally give these properties, these things here as well. Okay. Now now basically if you want the sum of all the unique parameters of your division description say for example you have agriculture at 10 places other things at 10 places if you want their total so you need to have the sum of order quantity total value and this okay so we would be adding a sum here and we would be using the group by clause for this division so that we can have the complete fulfillment sum of this as order quantity total well and here we would group by guys for suggestion you can use the tab key see now you are getting the suggestion press tab key of your keyboard and your suggestion would be completed control space will help you in suggestions and this will help you group by division and division description We need to have some of this as well. Yes, I am doing. As credit underscore limit. Okay guys, so this is second important thing that we have to do. Now one of the most critical thing is we need to link all these columns. So for linking we use a unique qualifier name. That is what we normally do in each and every case. So I'll quickly add a qualifier. Any name of my choice but that should be repeated in each and every line item. Qualifier. Order. Overview or OVP anything you can use. The same qualifier I'll have it below as well. Let me give some spaces so that code becomes easy for us to understand. Now it is a bit easy. This qualifier I'll utilize in my below line items as well. I'll add it here and also I'll add it here. I'll save it. Let me activate it. Like just to save the time, I have already activated the service. Okay, like this is there. I have already activated just to save the time. But let's quickly cross check it. Let me do a step back. Sorry. So I am here in my service. Let me click on load metadata. Metadata is loaded. Let me go to gateway client. Entity sets. Let me select my entity set and click on execute. So here you would find all the unique dis all the unique division descriptions for like 10, 20, 30, 40 are coming here. Okay, so this is the one and this is automatically totaling it up whatever we have the value like plumbing and all these things. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So all these things are coming here. Okay, so we are able to do the group by in a proper way to have the summation of these numeric parameters or measures you can say. So this is done, service is already registered. Now the next thing what I have to do is this is my CDS view name. Guys, the step that I'm going to do is little tricky and complex now as you would be doing for the first time. So please stop your work and focus here. This is my component.js file. Okay, I have already executed it. 
that's fine. Now this is my project. I'll select this. I'll right click. We'll click on new card. I'll select table card. We'll click on next. Now I'll select the new data source and I'll give my CDS name underscore CDS and we'll press enter so that next button is available. I'll then click on next. We'll give the data connections. I'll select my CDS name. This is selected. Next. I'll select this. Now I'll select my entity set. Title as uh, division sales information. I'll then click on next. This you can ignore it. Next and then finish. Nobody would do anything till the time I have not done it. Okay, just hang in and let's see how it goes. I'll run this, I'll rerun this application and there is some change in the piece of code that I need to teach you. So make sure, let's understand the complete process. Once your card is added, once your things are done, then how are you going to manipulate it? Once every, each and every output you're getting and if your business is demanding you to delete that table card, then how are you going to handle it? Are you going to completely delete your project? Obviously, no, you're not going to delete it. Okay, guys, listen and observe here carefully. Now see, this is the table card, but it is looking very raw and dull. It is not looking the way it is expected. I need the values which are above 6 lakhs or something. It should be in a different color and which is below a certain value. It should be in a different color. So uh, I'll, I'll be using a concept of data points. Say for example, now this is a table card. You can see it is quite different than others, right? Now you see you, it is purely draggable. You can drag wherever you want to. Center, middle, left, center, right, and left. Each and everything you can do it. Okay, so this is how the table card appears. As per my understanding, we cannot have more than three, but still you can explore and come back to me on Monday. Can we have more than three columns in a table card in OVP? Okay. Apart from that, this is very informative. In, if you look at a table that you have in list report, that has numerous information, but this is very specific and to the point. This would give business and end users a complete glance about their business. Say, for example, in my division description, these are my units, these are the total of it, okay? So these are the values. If I want this to be colored, if something is above 6 lakhs or 7 lakhs, it should appear in a different way, it should highlight it. Highlighting the data point and peeping our eyes is the main key focus of our business. Okay, so there is one additional thing that we have to do. There is a concept of data points that I will be covering now. But before that, let's understand the importance of this. Let's understand the importance of this tool. More important, what challenges you guys can face in real time is, obvious. say for example, now this is my one table card. We have three, four other table cards as well. And if your business is demanding you, I don't want this, delete this. So obviously you are not going to delete the complete project of your web ID, right? You will be deleting specific code. Now, how you will be deleting that specific code? Let me teach you that. I will completely delete it. I'll re-add it and then we'll start the concepts of data point. Because why I'm saying that is I have observed this in each and every project. Because, see, business people, they keep changing their mind. Sometimes they need something, sometimes they don't. Until and unless your project is not in Golai stage, changes are bound to come. They want, first they will ask you to develop, they will see how it looks, how their expectation is looking in front of their eyes. Once they are satisfied, then they will say, hey, let's kick off this, let's go ahead with this. Fine. So we have to go in our manifest.json file. This is my main CDS code. I'll go a step down. This is my main CDS code. Now you can see this card code is available. You can see this code. So what you have to do is you, you double click here. Sorry, you double click here, you delete it, and you delete this piece of code. This annotation file, table card this, you double click here, delete it, and delete this piece of code, and remove this comma. This is how you have to remove each and every code. I'm not done yet. I have not done yet. Still, 
we will inspect our code from top to bottom. We will slowly scroll down. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. These do, this things doesn't matter. Now this is my main card and this is my CDS. So I'll double click here. I'll delete it. I'll remove this and I'll remove the comma. I'll again go down. In the cards which was empty yesterday, the card is added. I'll double click here. I'll delete it. That's it. Now I have did each and every change in my manifest. I have saved it. I'll close this. I'll again rerun my application and let's see how it goes. Okay guys, the table card has been deleted successfully without impacting any other code. The table which was appearing before is not appearing now. So we have deleted our sensitive code successfully. That is one thing. Now what I want, uh, what I will be doing again is I'll again re-add it so that I am very comfortable in this tool and I know how to perform all these operations. If I want to delete the code, I'm confident. If I want to again re-add it, I'm confident without deleting the main project. This is very important guys. We have to think about the code also. I'll again click on new card, table card, next, select new data source. Underscore CDS. I'll go here, I'll select this, next, next, we'll select this, next, next, finish. <laughs> Okay, manifest code has been automatically added up. First, let me select this and run my app. Okay, guys, so we are able to successfully, we are able to uh, uh, display the data as well. Let me refresh this once more. Hmm. Okay guys, so this is the way we can, we have created a table card and we were successfully able to delete it. Cards are just part of your overview project. You would be using different kind of cards like this is what I have did. Cards are just kind of your project. Now, one important thing what we have to understand is you know how to add and delete your code. You're quite confident on that. That is really good. Now, one important thing what I want to say is I'll again go back to manifest. Guys, if you now say, for example, we are having only one card, so we are able to delete it successfully. If we have four cards, how can we delete it? The only option is you have to just inspect your code and you have to delete it. Like this is your table card. Wherever you find specific names that are linked, so select that complete object and delete it and delete commas, all the things. This is what we have to do it. There is no other option. So this is very sensitive, but this is what we have to do, okay? Because this is very common. Moment you add your cards, customer will demand you, I don't want this remote. You're not going to again delete the whole project and recreate it, right? So this is very sensitive, but you have to do it. Okay. Okay, guys. So before I start the data point, I want at least my participants to practice this much. So what you guys have to do is create a new CDS file, build this code, register the gateway service, and then create a project, delete it and re-add it. Yes, yes, you can comment out your code. You can even comment out. You can select this and comment out your code, right? You have the option to toggle comment and everything. You can comment out. Uh, 
okay one second so let me write down the steps so that it can help you for a future reference So first is create a new CDS file. The way I have created, I will not write anything in detail. Expose that service, expose that service in gateway. Create a new table, create a new table card, create a new table card by right clicking of your OVP project, whatever name you have given, add the new table card and follow the complete steps required for the same. This is the next thing. Add a new table card and follow the complete set required for the same. The last thing is delete your code from manifest with context to table card. Test your app. Test your app after your code deletion or convention no need to write any, uh, no need to write that deletion or convention whatever you do or even you, you make a copy of that code in your notepad test your app after that code re-add the table card and check your output guys follow these steps uh, do it once you're done with this then we'll start with data points Guys, someone was saying there is no relation but division. We have 10 and I have entered it and I'm able to filter this data. So the tool OVP page will automatically take care of that. We don't have to bother anything or that. You can see the filter is working as per the way it is expected. Okay. Once I erase this, automatically all the values are populated. Now without having much discussions, yes, I think in manifest, I don't think so. You can comment out. Let me try some shortcut key control, question mark control, please. No. We don't have, uh, we cannot comment it out. So you, what you can do is for safer side, you can cut your code and paste it in a notepad or word document, wherever you want to, and then you can do it. Okay guys, this is the CDS code. Maximum 15 minutes. I will ask randomly anyone to share the screen and show me the table card. And Gorang, I hope I have answered your question. I have shown you the filters, how it works automatically. Yeah. Guys, without time, be quick.
Guys, one more thing. In our previous budget, we have experienced a lot. People are not able to create the card properly. They are not even able to find those options. Whoever are facing those challenges, let us know now. We will we will tell you how to handle that in manifest. Shekhar, uh, just guide them how to handle that and manifest if they are not able to find the option of card, okay? Because many of you might experience that. And if I ask randomly anyone to share the screen and if the output is not done, then it won't be good for that person. Hi, Vaid. Yes. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Actually, my my output is coming, but uh, mm -hmm. in paper card, uh, the message is coming, cannot load card. 
No, no, that means output is not coming. There is issue with your code. Cannot load card means uh, your code. Is uh, Satya, is it Satya, right? No, no, that's Dinesh. Uh, Dinesh, that's a common issue. That comes for me also. He knows that. Oh. You have to add a code manually in the manifest.json. No, no, no. Uh, Dinesh, my question to you is, uh, extremely sorry to interrupt, guys. Dinesh, my question to you is, I want to understand from you and other people, the process, the complete process that I have did of adding the card in complete process by right clicking it, right? Is it, yes, is yes. it coming for you, yes or no? Yes, it's coming. No, then there is some issue with your code. Cannot load card means there is some issue. It means your code or something is incorrect that you need to correct it. My uh, is working fine. Oh, so let's go step by step. So this, your code is exactly same like this, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Right click, and new, and card, right? Uh, Dinesh, once then again, I... execute your service okay. and see if you're getting it exactly like this. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, no, check it now, no, I'm there. Check it now and tell me. Yes, yes, I'm checking. Yeah, yeah, fine. Others, I'm again telling you, please report if you're not able to see that complete process in WebID for adding the card. I'm not sure how, how it is working for everyone. Last time it was not even working for half of the people. Shekhar, ask each and every participant to send the screenshot in the group. With 98%. <laughs> Yeah, Shekhar, ask everyone to send the output screenshot in the group. Let us analyze. And uh, Shekhar, just one small request. If anyone is not able to see and if they are reporting you a little later to so just help them how to do it to the port. Okay. Service is running fine. Okay, service is running fine. Okay. okay. Now, uh, now can you open your manifest.json file? Okay. Yes, it's open. Yeah. See, is your logic exactly the way you can see here? See if everything is into shape or if you missed any step. Yes. Everything, everything is here. Okay. Sorry? Everything is here. Uh, my it's my there, second right? service is also here. Okay. We scroll down. Here the also on item number 92 you have this data source, right? Yes, this data source. Yes, this this data source is here. And last, this card. Card. Mm, we need to check that annotation path. Line number one twenty two. Line number one twenty two. Or one twenty one, whatever it is. Annotation path. Yes, yes, yes. An annotation path is there. Check this Pardon. qualifier. Is this qualifier coming up? This qualifier that I have added here, is this qualifier coming okay. up for you? No, no, it's not coming. So then the here is no, a here is here. No, no, no. Yes, yes. yes you can check manually, but uh, uh, Dinesh, uh, did you add the qualifier yes. in CDS? Yes, yes, I have added. No, then it should come here automatically because even even I have not added it manually, right? Yes, I have added uh, in my three lines qualifier. Mm -hmm. Anything, right? Do one thing, activate your code again just in CDS, add your qualifier here by giving the hashtag and then refresh your app once again, you should get the output. Please show the annotation part, I will capture that and write. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Narayani, great work. Uh, we could see your output. Shekhar, just help Aarti. She is not able to load the cards, so just help her now. Guys, if you are struggling with output, let me know. We will support you right away. So that there are two additional cards that I'm going to give you as part of assignment. If it is not working now, it will your weekend would totally go waste. From Monday, I start with analytical card with KPI cards in the analytical card itself. So altogether, we have new things. So this table cards, two more things we need to add, and I want you guys to add it. Make sure everyone gets the output with data points, which I'm yet to teach now. Wait, can you please copy paste that code in chat? Line number 121. Yeah. Yes, I've done. Hey, this uh, this weekend assignment would be little uh, bigger. You have three, four activities minimum to do. So make sure everyone spends quality time. Okay, next Friday, anyways, we are going to end. We would have this group connected. But this weekend, uh, make sure nobody has any plans. Order OVB is the name of qualifier that we have given in the name of C that we have given here. Order OVB, you can see here, right? This is the name of qualifier that is populating there. Yeah. Satya, did you get the output? Hmm. You need to solve your troubles now. Uh, now it's coming. Thank you. Now it's coming for you, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Finish. Yeah, hi, Vid. Gorang here. Gorang. Yeah, yeah, yeah Gorang. Yeah. yeah, just one question. Gorang, I am not able to hear you. Can anyone hear him? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically one uh, question uh, uh, regarding the filters only. So what I'm not understanding is like you can have a different CDS even from a different system because we again select the system um, uh, when we are adding a table cut, right? So how mm -hmm. does this filtration, how does that filter work? It's work on the, at, it works at the UI level, right? See how internally it is being managed, we also don't know, okay? We see basically when we had a requirement for one of the customer, it was exactly the same. We have shown him the cards in overview page what SAP Fury offers and we have designed it. The first attempt we tried it searching and it automatically works. So we didn't have to put any separate efforts. Okay, so how it is internally managed, uh, I'm not sure on that. Okay. But we can add table cards from a different system also, right? Two, uh, two different different systems. system means uh, like uh, two different landscapes, right? Correct, correct, correct. Uh, so what you do is if you have certain, if you have multiple systems, you can try it out. But anything, everything, see, each and everything will be linked with each other, right? This division is, see, this, these controls are coming from the back end, right? So this division is holding all these values, right? So it is automatically helping you in the filters, correct? So no matter if you bring from different system, but there would be some joints or some connections that would come into picture that would help you, right? So you yes. experiment it and let me know how things, because see, we have division here, we have division here. So these these are coming from same table from everything. If different tables and joints are there, right? So I think we should yeah. be able, yes, yes. So I think we should be good. 
uh, but as per my understanding i don't think so any separate effort is required because we have enabled live filters which will automatically link and bring it up okay and uh, one question uh, balu you are there on the call yeah yeah we yeah yeah so balu yesterday i just got to know you have added a go button here that's good but uh, my question to you is uh, the version that you are trying uh, you have you did some visual uh, using some visual parameters or visual filter something you were able to do this uh, go button right so if you see anyways you do live filter or you do with go button uh, does it may are you able to filter it out with the go button press did you experiment it now uh, no i couldn't but i can i can uh, check that let me check it yes out. yes so one uh, one small work for you is Yeah, yeah, Shekhar, tell me. I mean, Paru tried. No, I also tried. But for me, from 1.62 or 1.71, that goal is not at all coming. I don't know why. It's working for me. Root is not at all coming. For me, Paru, that I posted that question, same question. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I couldn't uh, uh, get time to reply to that. But see, just right now, I I checked it. So I filtered based on sales organization A A zero one, and I clicked on go button, and it's working. Okay, okay, okay. It's working for you, right? Screenshot, if you want. Yeah. So, so Balu, a question to you: No separate efforts, right? Required. It is automatically no. taking care of everything, right? Yes, yes. It, it takes. Yes, care yes. Of that was the main question. So that's fine. But anyways, live filter is fine. Go button is fine. These things we do it in UI5 apps also, either on live change, either on button press. So that is totally fine. But anything, anything added new is welcome. And thanks for bringing in. So Balu, just one question: the template that you were using was 1.52 only, right? For that go button, or you were using a different one? See, only for uh, enabling that on the visual filter. I mean, see, if you right click on the app in Web IDE, you have something called as UI5 visual editor. Correct. So open that. You you need to change your project setting to 1.62. Okay. And Below 1.62, we cannot do it. Yeah. I mean, just let me complete it. Okay. Then mm -hmm. once you enable the go button, you can always switch back your uh, version to 1.52. You just have to go to the project settings, and there you say the UFI version is 1.52. Okay. Just for enabling the go button, you go you just update it 1.62. Then again, you uh, downgrade it. Okay. Uh, just adding one more small question. See, uh, adding the go button, I believe there would be some code in the manifest that we might need to add it. See, now we have enable live filter. We checked and it is coming through here, right? So if you have a code of go button that we need to write in manifest, we can even we can stop while that work and do it, right? Uh, so I didn't get it. So basically, you said okay, the okay. go button can. Uh, yeah, for enabling the go button, there might be some piece of code that we can add in the manifest and bring it available, right? My question is that. Uh, no, I think I think this more it has more to do with the UI control, not with the manifest or JSON. So basically, what has mm -hmm. happened is it has created it as grid, which is actually making use in all kind of uh, theory element uh, applications. But for mm -hmm. some reason, for OVP, it has disabled just the go button. I don't mm -hmm. know what was the reason. Okay, so. Uh, I love to experiment, so I just I just went into the visual filter and I was just searching where is this go button. I found it mm -hmm. and I found it has been the visible property of the go button was false. So I just gave mm -hmm. it to and I ran the app and I tried to filter it. Uh, it was working. So it, it's basically an experimental thing that I did. Uh, nothing else. Okay. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Got it, got it. So basically, what you are saying is the process of bringing the go button is the only one process. The way we can achieve that, you have told, right? There is no other process, correct? Uh, yeah. The only other way that you can actually achieve is you can you can actually you know write code in the component dot js. Okay, get the reference of the particular go button, and then maybe set the property uh, visible is equal to true at runtime. Mm-hmm. No, uh, but why am I questioning that you do at design time? Mm-hmm. Anything that you do at design time can be done at the at the runtime as well. All you need to do exactly, is have exactly. a reference, get a reference to the UI control, and then what are the properties is there? You you modify it according to uh, according to the requirement or whatever you want. 
Yes, yes. No, my only reason was asking the question was, see, now you told that you have gone to the visual editor, you have read the changes, again you came back to your version, right? So communicating this to other person might be difficult. So I was asking the piece of code that might have been generated for the go button, can we directly add in the component or manifest? That was the only intention of, of asking, so that we can even reduce the steps. In manifest, it's not possible. In manifest, it's not possible. In manifest, it's not possible. Right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, fine, no worries. That was the only intention of asking if whatever your process is, if we can reduce that or not. But if you are saying it is not possible, that's fine, no worries. Okay, guys, uh, please stop your work. I have to, we have to start with data points. Then maybe if we uh, turn the enable live filter to false, it might pop up the go button. Okay, you it mean to say if I just make it as false? It might, and I haven't tried it, but it just crashes. Okay, okay, trials and errors, we can do it later, guys. I have to start with uh, data points. Everyone, please stop your work. So, guys, we have to, uh, we will be using the data points now. And how data points can be useful, I'll tell you. Now the table card that you can see here, the numbers that are coming, these are just coming as a raw and dry numbers. But we want these numbers to be highlighted to convey a message to us. Convey a message if, if there is a if there is if the limit is increasing to a certain extent, it should come red in color. -y. Okay, so something like that. So we will be using these things. I'll I'll do it for one example, and the rest example you can do it on your own because it's exactly the same code. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So data points can only be for measures. So we have two measures. One we have order quantity total value and then we have the credit limit. Okay. So we need to add one we need to add one more property here that is type. Sorry. Type as data point. Okay, we would be adding this data point and then we need to add the data points and perform the functionality for the same. So, this is my data point, you can either add below or whenever you want to, this is my data point. <laughs> At the rate ui dot data point colon open close curly braces and then you can give the parameters whatever you have. So you can give the title And then we can have criticality calculations if the number is extending to a certain limit. How can we handle that? Uh, Satya, great work, but uh, let's, let's focus here and then we can have uh, discussions for the same. We have this criticality calculations. Guys, uh, please stop your work. This R&D, you have the complete weekend to do it. Now let me complete this and then you can discuss these things. Okay, in criticality calculations, you have a couple of things like what is, first of all, you need a direction. So we have improvement direction as target, as a target not maximize and minimize as a target. And then we can give the high and low range values. Tolerance range high value, tolerance range low value. Okay, so if you want this a high value and this is a low value, so what should be the minimum value? What should be the high value? So low value, say for example, you can keep it as 2000, 5000, 6000, whatever it is. I'll keep 5000 and then Either you can keep this tolerance or there is one more thing called as deviation. So deviation range high value, low value. 
each and everything you experimented based on the numbers and the data points you have here, based on the numbers and uh, values you have here, just try the number, just try changing the numbers and see what magic it can do. Say for example, I'll give here seven lakhs because I believe I have five lakhs and I'm trying to give anything about that. So let me see these all colors and these three remaining colors are they changing or not? Okay. <clears throat> So this is, these are the data points that we have added. So these are just the properties that we have into it. So this is my, so this is basically ending here. I'm adding a data point here. And this is of type data point. It is, let me activate it. Okay, we have act we have did it for our order quantity total value. Let me experiment and let's see how it goes, if it is impacting or not. And guys, I'm repeating for the last time now, anyone who is finding any issues with the template and if they are not able to see the process, let Shekhar know today, we will help you how to manage through code. If you do not ask, it is your loss. Hmm. Okay guys, now you can see the change in color. Anything which is above 7 lakhs, it is coming this in color. It means if the range is, like say for example, say, say for example, this is the outstanding loan that bank is having or whatever thing which is above, so they can easily target the red value. These are called as data points. Guys, forget the properties, let's understand the purpose. Technically, we have written and there are a lot of manipulations we can do. Why this is used and see, now we will talk as a customer point of view, like I'm selling this product. So how, what all things I can bring to his bucket is, I can tell him boss, first of all, this is an overview page. These apps are responsive in all the devices. Moreover, it populates the data, which is very specific and to the point. If you want to rearrange your things, you can rearrange in whatever formats, plus it, Plus, based on your based on your values, it will total it and it will bring all the values so that if you want to differentiate, if you want to find and figure out the value which is extending a certain limit, that values will be highlighted to your bucket. Each and everything, see now in just matter of discussions, I have told seven eight benefits. So these all things you need to speak up if you want to sell this project and get more work in your projects. This is what you have to do it, okay? This is one way of exploring it. And uh, there are many other ways like, say for example, if they ask you any change, you can simply change the properties here, high range, low range, and just try experimenting it. See guys, technical things and requirements is a never ending thing. The, it will keep going on and on and on. My personal suggestion to all my participants is they should be good in their subject. They should know how to manage and drive the show. If some requirement is coming to their bucket, Based on their experience, they should be able to analyze, do it. And if they doubt, they can try it once. And if it is not working, they can communicate to the customer. This is not possible. That is one way. Uh, moreover, you should be good in business consulting as well, guys, because dashboard and all is purely used by business people. Uh, I am telling all this with my experience dashboards. You will not share it with your managers and senior managers. It is shared by the CEO, CFO level because managers have no link with the sales business, right? Only the CEO, CFO level, it is linked. So you should be good in business consulting. You should be able to sell this product, right? This this area is very niche. It is growing in the market. So it is our duty to promote it as much as we can. Okay. And uh, let me tell you guys, uh, one person from this batch itself has did a fantastic job and he, is, he, has, he has did some POCs with this two weeks of learning. He has showcased it to the business and he's almost able to win the projects. Okay. I won't take the name and other details, but this is what the fact is. Some of you, I know them personally, so they have communicated it to me. 
So my personal suggestion is be good in the subject, understand the features and have a design thinking. What If you want to be successful, always think from an end user perspective, always think from a business emotion point of view. If I am looking at this, I am looking at this data point, what is my emotion? Am I really happy? Is it good? It is bad? Whatever it is, based on that, you need to justify the things. Okay, guys, last five minutes, quickly complete this code, see the output. Now I have used division, use tolerance range, low value, high value, and see how it is responding to your value. See what colors it is bringing in. Now the customer will ask you, now it is coming red and orange, can I make it green, yellow, blue? Do you have answer for that? All these things you need to focus on R&D. Best thing is if you have, if you don't know anything, you can tell, you can come back to me. Because no, no doubt you are an expert, there would be things and you have to say that you have to come back. That is for sure. Okay. Okay, guys, last five minutes, complete this, get the output, and then we will discuss on the weekend assignment. Be quick, guys. Guys, uh, be quick, we have to discuss on the assignments, please.
Okay, guys. So let me uh, please stop your work and focus here on the assignment. Balu, you can post this message here also and on group also. If someone misses the track, they can send you there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, guys, let's focus on the assignment for the weekend. So the first thing is add two more table cards in your application and you can use order quantity total value and uh, credit limit as your measure. I'm just telling you the dimensions to change the dimensions. So you can use distribution channel and plant, uh, distribution channel, so, 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 so. use document date and plant. Mm -hmm. Document date and plant. Add two more table cards in your application. Let me be more specific. Document date and plant. This is the first requirement. If anyone has any questions, they can discuss the same. Complete API card in analytical list report or ALP, whatever you say, complete KPI card. Uh, guys, we already have a solution document, but we won't be giving you now. We will be giving you by Monday. Make sure we, we at least expect five people to come up with a solution. This assignment exactly means I will not repeat it. You are not supposed to help each other as simple as that, okay? Add two more table cards in your OVP application documented and planned. Complete KPI card and analytical list report. And uh, there was one more thing I forgot, just a second. Anyways, these linkages are working fine. So, yes, I got my question. Try if we can add more than three columns in table card OVP. Okay, guys, add two more table cards in your OVP. Uh, two separate CDS will be created. Two, two times the register, uh, two times the service will be exposed in the gateway. That is same thing. And then you need to completely add your table cards. Okay, so you would be having three table cards in your application. Second is complete KPI card and analytical list page. And third is just a question. Do the R&D and come back to us with a solution whether it is possible or not. In my understanding, I have tried, it was not working, but you guys try and come back, okay? But ideally, we should uh, have here three only, not more than that. And last but not the least, if you have extra time, try if you can explore, try if you can explore list card. Not anything else, guys, it is not required. Uh, guys, one personal suggestion I want to give to anyone is rather than running behind code and learning new, new things, I encourage that. But you should, you as a person should be groomed in each and every way. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you the real time cases and scenarios. When we used to have business meetings, what customer used to say, they used to bring the, the, they used to bring the dashboards, they used to have a comparison with click view, click sense, it is one thing, then used to have its tab view, which is now a Salesforce part, and then with ours, they will compare each and everything. You should be in a position, I'm telling you in a very open way, you should be in a position to showcase this. You can tell them boss, whenever we have SAP analytics, we should go with this. It, it is working in mobile, no separate development required. Time is very less. We can complete the whole application in two days and give it to you. Changes expected are very fast. Performance is very fast. You can have lakhs of data coming in. You should always talk about benefits and showcase it to them. And if you're talking about limitations also, you should handle it politically how I'm telling you. Now, say for example, you know the structure of all these three templates are fixed. In list report, it will look in this way. Overview will look in this way. 
and analytical list which will look in this way. So you should be in a position to tell them both SAP has designed in such a way so that it takes less time, it is responsive without having separate efforts and that looks in the best way and tell them it has been reviewed by many business people and this is what it is recommended. Guys, if you are if you are selling, why, why I'm specifically telling about selling this is because this is very niche and until unless you do not demo anything to your customer, you won't get the work right. So you have to demo plus you need to showcase and if there is any negative point, you can tell them it is not a negative, it is a limitation and limitation has a reason. If you see more, to be very honest, your code will help you 40% but your communication with your customers would help you 60% to win the projects and to survive in the market. That is what my experience is. Uh, First of all, for winning, you need to communicate well. No business meetings is interested in your code and platform. They are only interested in the screens you show and the requirement you fulfill. That's it. Okay, I'll I'll keep this window open for two minutes and I want you guys to share or just let me know if I, whatever I said was incorrect or what. Okay. Uh, wait, this is mainly. Yeah. yeah. See, what is the, I mean, uh, generally BA, right? Forget about QClick and other uh, BI tools. Even SAP is promoting the same HANA with BI, right? They are also producing mm -hmm. analytic. Uh, so do they, do you ever face a scenario like this? Or can we, you know, why can't we do this in BI analytic reports uh, uh, compared to this fear element here? Is there any advantage like that? that? Yes, yes, yes. See, first of all, BI and all, I'm not sure whether you have worked or not. Uh, first of all, if you see uh, before a business meeting, you should know what all comparisons a customer has already used and what are their emotions. Now, one person cannot learn every technology, right? If you talk about B, see, BI is also like one, see, BI and every uh, Power BI and all, whatever you do it, first of all, you should know their benefits, then you can have a comparison, whether it is responsive if for the same output, whether the development time is same, whether this is matching each and everything you need to identify, list it down and then you need to come back. In my case, in my case, customer has came up with one of the object which was done in ClickSense, which is a click view. So it was done using that. So there were few things which were possible. So see, it is not a bad tool. It was a good tool. So there were a couple of things which were only possible in this with minimum time and which were not that flexible in click view and click sense. Okay. So, we, we were we were winning in some points and we were not winning in some points. So it was a debate, but we have to make sure how we can mold our statements and get it done. So for that, you need to have some 10, 15 points about the specific platform that you use. Okay. So one thing, once you're done with this training next we, week, I would guide you to use uh, to just go through the just Google and go through three, four analytical tools, I'll tell you, one is Tableau, one is ClickSense, the ClickView tool, and then is Power BI, and then whatever you have up. Now, SAP Analytics uh, Cloud is also there. So just we, have 10, 10 points of each and everything, and then you can add it. We, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, Shekhar. Uh, so as Murli said, no, I also agree with him, because see, uh, just I want to show a live scenario, like SAP BI and Microsoft Power BI. So when end users come to having a choice, no, I don't know why they go with Microsoft Power BI as compared to SAP BI for all kind of analytics and even we have AO and business objects and so many things. But I don't know why end users are more much more prone towards Tableau and as you are telling Microsoft Power BI and all. I don't know why. First thing, tell me how old is Microsoft Power BI and how old is this? Which one, Microsoft Power BI? Yeah, how old is this? From how many years we are using that? Maybe. It's old. It's, it's evolving a lot. Anything is old is successful, right? Anything is new, new, it's a promotion, correct? No, but SAP BI is also not new. It's also old. Like, uh, no, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about SAP BI. See, SAP, see, I I don't want to get into technicality of SAP BI, what it offers and all. I'm just talking about these three these three kind of applications what we are offering. I'm not interested in SAP analytics or anything else. My question is, this is new, right? And we are talking about how we can promote this more in the market, correct? Yeah, right. 
So whenever, whenever you have Microsoft or any other things, you need to analyze at least when a customer is having its database or data in SAP and Oracle, they should use this considering the benefits and parameters. For that, you need to understand the competitors of analytics and you need to just read their intent and features and also the limitations and then you can sell it. Sometimes feel SAP is becoming a data source mostly as a backend data source sometimes. Like with so many integrations coming into picture, like they want data from SAP and they want to use their own tool to show it. Like where we need to compete and pitch in to sell our products. See, first of all, see, first of all, this product, uh, this uh, Fury Elements is selling a lot in the market and I can see a couple of requirements coming in. It is picking up well. That is what my personal experience is. And I've told you, like, one of the participants here, he has already promoted it and he's able to win the projects. Uh, one thing what I want you guys to say is you, whenever you have time, once this training is done, you can build a PPT. And each and every PPT will have four, take four platforms. These are the four platforms and write all the benefits and having this platform at the top, okay? It should not look like we are promoting this, but you should have four platforms and then you see this. See, main reason can be most of the people are still learning this new platform and uh, consultants available in, the, available in the market are very less, whereas the consultants that we have in those platforms are higher. So. Consider each and every small thing, the budget, if company wants to implement this, what is the budget? If company is going with that, what is the budget, right? You need to calculate each and everything and even if your budget is high, still how you can promote it, that is your skill. Okay, one example, customer is ready for fury elements. We say budget, if a budget is 20 lakhs and we are still struggling with people in the market. Will anyone accept it? No one, right? Okay, fine guys, so next week, whenever you have time, just uh, have some focus here on these things as well. Okay, and uh, we will conclude it for today and we have... Uh, we have, Hi, Dave, the I have one question. Yes? So this is Narayani. I mean, this is not related to the overview page. This is related to the analytical page and I've been trying to find an answer. And um, So if you look at the screenshot here, you had asked one of the assignments where you needed... I mean, you know, as a customer, I would not want dots on this, uh, on on the chart. Mm -hmm. I tried every possible manner. The only thing that I got was the text, uh, text arrangement. But I still couldn't mm -hmm. get it to work. And I've already posted, I mean, you know, it's already posted on chat and all those things. Have you... I think you've posted uh, on the group as well. Sorry. Uh, yes, I have, but I don't think, um, I mean, I haven't received any uh, replies to this. So uh, do you, I mean, you know, uh, do you suggest there is any other hint that you can give me? Because I've tried through SAP UI. Um, I was, um, I mean, I've tried uh, SAP UI editor. I've tried every option in that. I've gone through every column. I've run everything. I've tried uh, through the CDS. There isn't anything to expand it. I've tried Google where I've tried every option which is there. So, um, I mean, as an expert, what is your suggestion? Uh, okay. Uh, Narani, I got your question a bit. One thing just you can do is, uh, can you just frame your question, post it on the group, I'll take it with Shekhar and I'll come back to you on Monday, whatever the answer is. If it is, if it didn't work for me, I'll come back to you. And I have uh, I have few friends who are also a little bit expert in this. I'll check with them as well. Can you do sure. that? Sure. So this is, the, this is the assignment that you had given, you remember, for the mm -hmm. analytical results. No worries, no worries. See, if assignment so when you I click on this, this so if you just click on this, uh, I, uh, the image that I've just sent in chat, mm -hmm. I'll frame it anyway, but if you just click mm -hmm. on this uh, image and you just mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, show it there. So you see that there are, uh, you know, a couple of dots after domestic sales or domestic um, or project sales or other mm -hmm. uh, or even after January, after February, after March. So on the analytical mm -hmm. header, when you have all mm -hmm. these charts, so if it's a donut or if it's a line chart, so mm -hmm. uh, what happens is you have these three dots which are there. And your assignment is that obviously, I mean, it was a very valid question and I've also been asked by clients a lot of times that why do I have these dots? But my, uh, so I've, uh, what I've done is, so initially if you see that the domestic sales has dots, but initially uh, what happened was it had domestic sales in bracket domestic sales again. 
So I've, I've been able to successfully remove that duplicate domestic sales. So that part is done by the text arrangement. Mm -hmm. But the thing is to expand this legend, mm -hmm. there is no way. Uh, so in the, uh, so I thought that maybe in the SAP UI5 graphic, uh, um, graphic filter, because obviously mm -hmm. that's the visibility part. So I went there, I tried to expand, I did the span, I did the um, height, I did the width, I did everything. It didn't work. And there is, uh, and then I tried in CDS. Of course, it's nothing to do with the legend because it's to do more with the data. But I said, okay, let me just go and have a try. There isn't uh, anything. See, one last thing what I can tell you is, one last thing what you can try is if you, if you have worked on Fury Launch Pad, so there is something called as theme designer. So try to do something. Uh, so once this app is deployed, once it is there in the Fury Launchpad, with the theme designer, if you're able to manipulate it, I think that is one solution that can help us. Okay, you can do some changes in the theme designer and then I think we should be good. That is one last thing we can try. Okay, you have you heard about that's theme a good designer? No, I have heard about theme designer. I worked on it, but I didn't think of that option to be honest. I was trying yes. more from the web ID or from the CDS. Another thing which I noticed was that when you click on adapt filters, the, mm -hmm. the chart shows perfectly fine. It is actually what it should show. So is there any option? I mean, is, why is there a difference between the way that it appears in the adapt filters and it ap appears on the main screen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you come back the way it, uh, the way it appears? Yeah, that's fine. As long I mean, you know, because we generally do not have time to discuss questions. So that's why, you know, it just yes, gets, yes, see, because have, the thing yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the thing is because, you know, I've been sitting on this for about three days and I'm a person, if I don't get something, I can't move forward. So yes, my brain yes, is not working. Thing, so. That's a very good thing. So one thing what I can tell you is, see, uh, what we would do is next week by Wednesday, we would be deploying this app to the SAP and we would be, do, I think you were part of that UI5 bag also, right? So we would be doing yes. the deployment to SAP Fury Launchpad as well. Once we do the deployment, then in the Launchpad itself, you can team designer and you can do these expand whenever it is required for this. Okay? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you all.